everybody knows about the upcoming Avengers movie called Infinity War. It's supposed to be Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2. There's been talk recently about how they're not going to call the second part Infinity War Part 2. They're going to give it a totally different name. But that's not exactly the topic we're talking about. But recently, as of today, I mean, uh, Robert Downey Jr. released a photo on his Facebook, which seemed to be the entire cast who was going to be in it uh, it's if you want to check it out go ahead and look it up it just has a bunch of names and it says infinity war part one and two and has the dates of when they're going to come out and underneath robert downey jr wrote excited question mark so yeah. it seems that he leaked the cast of who's going to be in the infinity war now we had heard lots of speculation and lots of talk there was everybody knew that it was going to be a huge cast of characters i heard up to 67 different characters we're going to be involved in the Infinity War movie. Now, that's not just bad guys, but that's also good guys. But there's a lot of speculation on who would be involved. Uh, everybody thought Guardians of the Galaxy would be kept out of it. You know, you never knew where Ant-Man, until he showed up in Civil War, we didn't know that he would be part of it. There's a lot of people that we were not sure of. We still haven't seen Doctor Strange yet, so nobody's quite sure if he fits in. But... It, this kind of gives us some clarity on where people go. So I'll just start off by reading off some of the names. And now the first couple are going to be ones that, yeah, okay, we knew. So you start off with Robert Downey Jr. Of course he's in it. Uh, Chris Hemsworth, Thor, Mark Ruffalo as Hulk. You have Chris Evans, of course, Captain America's in there. Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow, Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye. You have Elizabeth Olsen as the Scarlet Witch. Paul Bettany, he was the Vision um, from Avengers 2. Then you have Paul Rudd, Ant-Man. So they're going to fit him in there. Evangeline Lilly, who will be reprising the role of Wasp in the upcoming Ant-Man and the Wasp movie. So that makes sense if Paul Rudd's going to be in there. Might as well throw her in there, too. Then you have Tom Holland, the new Spider-Man, which I'm excited to see that he will be involved in these big projects. Because he was so killer in Civil War. I mean, maybe the best character in the movie. The one that was just thrown in there right at the end of filming. No, not right at the end. Kind of in the middle. In the middle, he was thrown in there. He I mean, was only in there for like 15 minutes. I mean, minutes thrown in there at the end of filming, like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. But it worked. It worked. I'm not gonna hate character. They, they they fit him in there excellently. I mean, they fit him in there excellently. Um, so uh, Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther is gonna be in there. Don Cheadle, War Machine, not surprising there. Uh, Sebastian Stan, that's the guy who plays Bucky, Winter Soldier. Anthony Mackie, that's Falcon. Chris Pratt. This is where it starts to get interesting, really. Uh, Chris Pratt, which is Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. So it seems that Guardians of the Galaxy will be making an appearance, which is awesome because like, we'll get their second movie and then this will be the year after. And Guardians of the Galaxy was such a spectacular, just out of left field type movie for most people that they belong on, on this, this, this list here. I mean, if you don't have the Guardians in there, it's not really a, a full Marvel Universe event. But then you well, also have Zoli Saldana. They still don't Dave have X-Men, right? So, well, that yeah, we know of <laughs> Marvel Cinematic Universe event. How about no. that? Um, but so you have Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, Bradley Cooper, of course, the voice of Rocket Raccoon, Vin Diesel, voice of Groot. Uh, so they pretty much threw all of them in there. Now, Karen Gillan is going to be in there. She played Nebula, she was the blue girl in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, um, what was her? What? What's Zoe Saldana's character name in that? Gamora, Gamora, I believe is her name. Yeah, so Gamora. Nebula is is Gamora's uh, sister, and then you had Michael Rooker. That that was the guy who played the leader of the Ravagers, uh, Yondu. If you remember, he's the guy who could whistle and make the arrow like fly through people's bodies. So they definitely have a good amount of the space people in there. Now, what's funny is he also put Kurt Russell in there. Now, Kurt Russell hasn't appeared in any of the Marvel Universe cinematic universe movies that I know of yet. He's actually going to be playing the living planet, Star-Lord's father. So that'll be an interesting... So they're going to have a planet on their side in this battle. Do you think on their yeah. side? Well, you hope so on their side. <laughs> and so those are all people that, you know, it wasn't that much of a stretch to see in there. Kurt Russell a little bit more. Uh, I am glad to see them, including the Guardians of the Galaxy. But the list goes on. This is where I was like, oh, wow, okay. Now I'm really seeing some names that I didn't even attach with it. Uh, we had Kristen Ritter, Charlie Cox, John Berthold, Mike Coulter, and Finn Jones. Uh, they also had a couple of L.D. Young, um, and I think there's one or two other people in there. But those represent the Netflix Marvel part of the universe. Oh. So Charlie Cox is Daredevil, Kristen Ritter is Jessica Jones, John Berthold is the Punisher, 
Michael Coulter is Luke Cage, and Finn Jones is Danny Rand, a.k.a. Iron Fist. So, so it's going to be interesting, because I believe Defenders will also happen before Infinity War comes out. So are, I wonder if they're going to join them as individuals or as the group Defenders. Well, either way, I mean, we weren't completely certain before that they were going to tie the TV universe with the cinematic universe, right? Well, like, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that was the thing. There was a lot of talk about it. Now, in the shows, they do mention, you know, stuff happening in, in with the Avengers, and they mention all these other superheroes out there. Specifically, I remember once in uh, Daredevil season one, it was like the first or second episode. They say, yeah, after those crazy, uh, you know, uh, masked heroes fought off those aliens in New York or something like that. And I was like, okay, so they want you to know it is set in the same universe. So it's not a big stretch to ca- include those characters in there. Now, they're a little, well, until we get to, like, we just, Cage, but I guess just We just Jones weren't sure that they, the Marvel was planning to, to do that. To, to, to cross them, them over, yeah. They, them almost everything they had said was, no, we don't really plan on doing this. It was. It seemed like it was always the, the people who played the characters, like Charlie Cox was a big one. Like, yeah, I want to be in a Marvel movie. And I believe in his contract as well, he's also kind of signed up for films, but not really. It's like, eh, if we feel like it, we want you to do films. And he's like, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe so, it was just they wanted to see how things were going to go. Maybe they weren't uh, sure that the uh, the TV shows were going to do the Netflix shows were going to do as well as they did. And yeah, now and that they now have they done very well, them. they're saying, "Okay, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll throw them in the movies. Why mm-hmm. not?" So, you know, it, it, and it wouldn't be a bad thing because those shows. Mm, I don't know. I'd almost put them above some of the Marvel movies. At least like Thor one and two wasn't great. Iron Man three or uh, Iron Man two and three weren't great. You know, there's a couple Marvel movies that weren't great where you could put these above them. Now, I'm not going to put them in the same list as, like, Captain America 2 or Civil War or Avengers 1. No, those those were spectacular movies. Those Trump, um, Ant-Man. I love Ant-Man. Ant-Man's probably my favorite. Um, but so though, it's it's cool to see that they're at least being thought of in terms of being joining the, the larger MCU rather than just their street level in New York City, Hell's Kitchen specifically. So I thought that was cool. Uh, and then c- to continue on with the list, we have Brie Larson. She was announced as Miss Marvel. So that'll be cool. And I, that's not unexpected. Everybody kind of expected them to add her in there. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, who will be playing Doctor Strange, which comes out this year. So that'll be cool. Then you have a couple other people from Doctor Strange. You have Tilda Swinton, Clark Gregg, Chloe Bennett, and Ming-Na Wen, and Ian DeCaster. And Elizabeth Henstridge and Adrian Polecki, I believe, are all from Doctor Strange movie, but you can forgive me if I'm wrong there. Um, but I believe that's where most of those people come. So Doctor Strange will play a big part. And if you read the comics at all, Doctor Strange plays an immensely huge role in the Infinity War from the comics. Mm. Now, the big guy was Adam Warlock, but I don't see them fitting him in there. They could because they haven't revealed the Soul Gem, but I don't see Adam Warlock showing up in this. Uh, but Doctor Strange could probably take the, the place of Adam Warlock as this all-powerful being that's not quite as all-powerful as uh, Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. So, but he's pretty powerful. Um, and so they'll throw that in there. And then it also says with, uh, as in I bet you these guys won't show up very much, but they'll be there. Except for, actually, no, I take that back. Because the first name I'm about to say, he's 100% going to be a huge part of this movie. But with Josh Brolin, of course, he's Thanos or Thanos, however you want to say, Samuel L. Jackson, Nick Fury. You have Tom Hiddleston, Loki, Michael Douglas. He was uh, the original Ant-Man, Hank Pym. And then you had Glenn Close, who was Nova Prime in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. So it does, all these characters put together makes for one crazy movie. Crazy movie. I mean, if they really do get all these characters together, I'm almost scared that it'll be too much. Yeah, I was going to say, are they going to be stretching things too thin? Or, I mean, they'll probably will have a select group of uh, of that, so like that'll be of the future the forerunners. Yeah, yeah. And then that they'll is. just have the others as supporting characters to, to various degrees. But Well, and I remember still, being nervous about people. Civil War, how mm-hmm. many characters were supposed to be involved in Civil War. And now Anthony and Joe Russo and Avengers in general. Yeah, well, Anthony and Joe Russo, the same guys who directed Civil War, will be directing uh, Avengers Infinity War, and I believe they also have the same writing team coming with them, too. So they do have a track record of being able to pull this off. 
Yeah, so I guess they, they, um, they cast. at this point, it's not even it's not even the second movie where they've been doing the these giant lists of big superheroes anyway. Uh, they've been doing it since Avengers 1, mm-hmm. right? It, so yeah. so they, they've got, they've got a they have, they've, been able to tie these together. They've been able to, to yeah, to figure all this out. Um, this is not, you know, a huge jump to do this many for, for this company in general and for these guys. Yeah. So, And this is kind of what they've been building to. This is why you had phase one, two, three, and eventually four. But they they did what you know, the best of all storytellers do. You say, okay, this is where I want to end, and this is how I kind of wanted to start. Let's figure out the points along. And they kind of probably graft it out. Okay, we're going to have this event, this event. That's going to tie into that event and that event. And then, you know, they put a big chart up there and said, okay, we're going to do it. And then they also did a great thing, and some people didn't like it as much, but they gave origins to almost all these characters separated from the universe. And then if they had their second movie or their second appearance in a movie is where they brought them closer together with the rest of them like avengers didn't come out just as avengers um dc you could probably take a hint for this because it seems like dc just wants to go straight to the avengers without setting everybody else up but that's neither here nor there um <laughs> but but they, you set everybody up very very well they all had their own unique characters yeah there were some throw-ins like this the black widow she yeah was i was gonna say the america big characters were there but there were Iron a few Man. of those side characters that just kind of came in with everyone else yeah, but, but Black Widow, she was introduced in Iron Man 2 and then really fleshed out more in the Captain Americas and... So that Avengers. wasn't her own origin story or anything yeah. like that. But but they, 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 they didn't just throw her at you like, uh, here you go. They, they, they led in with her. Uh, and then you have like Hawkeye, he was kind of just thrown in Avengers. But it worked. It was all right. Because it was only one character, wasn't any, and he was not a huge character. And then they fleshed him out a little bit more with Avengers 2. So... I, I'm excited. Uh, I, I this is a group that seems that to show us that they know what they're doing when it comes to putting on these big ensemble casts and making them all fit. With giving everybody their own little, you you still feel the characters whether they get truly brought to the forefront or not. Uh, for instance, like we were saying, Civil War, Ant Man. You knew Ant Man and he had a great role in it and they gave him a new ability and everything, but he was only in the movie for like 10, 15 minutes. Same with Spider Man. You know they introduced him, good enough here you go and uh, that's really what i'm looking forward to i'm just wondering who would be the leader of this group it has to be dr strange in my opinion if you want to follow the comics but i think a cool way to do it would be make like uh like spider-man leader spider-man should be leader of all groups just just my opinion well given the nature of uh you know it being the the movies trying to appeal to the the bigger crowd or the people you know with the names that are known better they might just go with some one of the guys that they already have well established because people know them better. So because mm-hmm. Doctor Strange I mean, is not Man, a Captain name. America, they could work fine. But yeah. I'd like to see I'd like to see Doctor Strange take the forefront because of all the actors on that list, Benedict Cumberbatch is my favorite. So if I had to pick a leader, I'd pick the strongest actor, and he also plays a character that's one of the strongest characters out there. So. Wouldn't yeah, I? I would say fair enough. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch is a well enough known actor in that mm-hmm. role that, you know, maybe doesn't matter if uh, Doctor Strange is himself not a household name. And you already said that there will be a movie of Doctor Strange out before yeah, we'll have this. have that origin movie before they, they really go any further. So, but but yeah, so that's that's the Avengers: Infinity War, at least part one. That's the rumors, and pretty good rumors. I mean, pretty legit if it's coming from Robert Downey Jr.'s Facebook. So, yeah, I, I, I'm going to go with these are probably true. And it just makes me excited. I can't wait to see what Marvel's going to do next. Um, well, really, the next one is going to be Doctor Strange, and we have Black Panther. So we have a lot of really good movies coming, but this is going to be like what Avengers 2 should have been. Hmm. Avengers 2, not saying it was a bad movie, just what didn't live up to Avengers 1, and I'm hoping that this does. So hit us up. Let us know what you think. Do you think this is too many people to throw into one movie or not enough? Hit us up. Comments down below. Of course, AdWords my face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting old.